Yo, we got some hate mail. I'm gonna show Vince's hate mail. It's crazy. Morning, man. Yo. What's up, man? We got this ladder, dude. Why do you have to meet me with this stuff first thing in the morning? Just read it, bro. VCG Construction. You are full of shit. You make videos showing coping inside quarters on the job site. Bullshit. There's no way to do that low volume, low production, old school process nowadays and make two nickels. If you tried to do things that, that way on my job site, so I would throw you off. Shannon. Dude, who the frig is Shannon, bro? I have no clue. Shannon, we wouldn't want to work on your job site. So why should I even care about this, Nick? Why should it's I just crazy. He took his time to write that letter. Yeah, well, he must be, must be an internet troll. Jagaloon, trunk slammer. Bro, you know what? I'm going to, how about this? I'm tired of it. Why don't we just make a video quick, show them there's a way to have high production and still do it right. Okay? I like your idea. Come on. I'm pissed. Listen, I I'm so fired up, Nick, if I, if I move too fast, Slow me down, because I want everybody to see that you can do this. I want to explain it properly, but I, I, I just can't move, move quickly, okay? I understand. So slow me down if you need to. We set everything up, and we're gonna, we're gonna show you how to, the best way to cope an inside corner, okay? And for, for you guys out there that are YouTubers slash finished carpenters, or hobbyists, or whatever it is, you can still have high production. And we're gonna show you how. Simple little accessory that will allow you to cope your inside corners quickly. All right, let's get started with the molding. We already we already have we already have a piece cut here, but we're gonna show show it over. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna straighten out this we're gonna straighten out this cut. Okay, it's a fresh piece of molding. We got off the truck. Now it's a fresh piece of molding. We got off the truck. Okay. We're going to assume in this example that we have a 90 degree inside corner. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to reveal the profile of the molding at 45 degrees, okay? 45 degrees and 45 degrees, the two pieces of molding, 45 degrees and 45 degrees equals 90 degrees, okay? Nick, mm -hmm. you understand? I do, okay. that makes perfect sense because it's math. Cool. Then. If you understand, I know the people out there understand. Sometimes I talk too quick, I apologize. We're doing a 90 degree inside corner. Okay. Now, we're going to want to cut. We're gonna set our sole, 45 degrees. <clears throat> we're going to cut the profile of the, of the molding to reveal, we're gonna cut the molding to reveal the profile. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I said that in reverse. Now that we have it straight, we're gonna hold our, our molding down. We're gonna make our cut. Now, we're faced with one little problem here. To, to properly cope this, the molding flattens out at the top. And to have two, two moldings meet together at this flat top, we're gonna need to cut this tail off, okay? So right where this line, right where this line ends here, right where this profile, this line ends, we're gonna wanna cut, we're gonna wanna cut this part of the molding off all the way down. Okay. That will allow, once this is coped out correctly, that will allow the moldings to meet properly. Okay? Follow what I mean? I do. Okay, great. You make a flat tail. Yes. So what we do is we set our saw to zero degrees. Okay. We're going to line our laser up. We're, we're fortunate enough to have a laser. If not, what you could do to make sure that your saw is going to cut the right spot is you bring your saw down, you look at your, 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 the tooth of your saw, where it meets, come on the other side. Can you see it there, Nick? Come I can. On the other side. Okay. If you didn't have a laser, the best way to judge would be to move that saw blade down to see where it meets the line. Follow? So, if you don't have a laser, people, that's what you could do. We're going to move our molding down. We make our cut. We've revealed our profile that we need to cope out, and let's get to it. 
Okay, first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your molding down on the stable platform. And then you're going to want to clamp it down. You want as little vibration as possible when coping your inside corner. And that's even if you were using a hand coping saw. But today we're going to show you how to quicken production time. Okay? And it's by using this simple little accessory for a jigsaw. It's called a Collins coping foot. You could go to the Collins Corporation, okay? Collins Tool Company. They sell these. Now, if you want to use a Collins coping foot to speed production, this foot only fits specific jigsaws. So, what I suggest is visit the Collins Tool Company website, purchase the Collins coping foot, and then make the purchase of your jigsaw. Okay? And, it, you know, this is for if you, need, if you need to make high volume, high production. Multiple inside corner cuts on a job. Yes. You know, if, you, if you're making, you know, if you're just doing maybe your house DIY project, use, a, use a, uh, a standard coping saw. You know, what we'll do is we'll link the video. We'll link the video up here somewhere. Yeah, it'll be around. I always mess that up. We'll link, put the link to that video, the best way for inside, how to cope an inside corner. Okay? Use a standard coping saw. But today we're going to show you how to speed things up. Okay? What you're going to do is, you know, you would normally hold your, your jigsaw like this, right? You're going to make your cut up, right? Up. But that wouldn't allow us to see the profile of our, of our molding, that what needs to be cut. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn our jigsaw upside down, and we're going to back cut this molding. So we're going to cut it opposite of the 45-degree angle that we've, that we've exposed. You follow, Nick? So when we, when we bring our saw in, we're going to back cut, back cut. We're going to go the opposite direction of this 45-degree angle. So you're going the opposite angle. Yes. This will allow the moldings to meet. Okay. All right. You follow? That's perfect sense. Boom, done. Now, you still want to use your good old fashioned files to clean that, that inside corner up, okay? Just clean it up. Boom, done. So all you haters and hatchet men out there, don't tell me that you can't have high production and quality at the same time, because it's proven that we can. Don't believe me? Okay, well, what we'll do is we'll take this piece. Watch your head, Nick. Okay, 
Now remember, this is out without spring pressure. So all we gotta do is fit it in. Boom. Boom. See how tight that is? Yeah. Doesn't matter if, if the inside corner varies a little bit. Even if it varies, let's just say your wall goes off a little bit this direction. Your joints opened up, okay? Or it's tighter this direction. The walls are crooked. I mean, who doesn't have houses? Who doesn't have a house with crooked walls? Anybody out there, if you have a house without crooked walls, please leave the comment below. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to know who your builder is. We want to hire them as a subcontractor, okay? Even if there's a variance, a slight variance in the wall, okay, this way, that way, you still have a tight joint that can be filled, okay? That, that joint is so tight, it could be filled with paint probably. You could fill that with paint, okay? Mm. If, it's, if it's a little bit opened at the bottom possibly, maybe, maybe you'd have to put a little wood filler in there, okay? But it, it's, it's, you're not going to have the variances with weather like you're going to have if you had some hack job mitered inside corner. You're just not, okay? That's my rant for today and my how to, okay? I don't know what to tell you. If you like this video, give it a like, comment, and we'd love for you to subscribe. If you dislike this video, do your best to send death threats or threats or tell us we don't know what we're doing or you can't have high production or you can't do it that way and make money. We do it all the time. Leave them down below. We'd love to answer you. And as always, thanks a lot and have a great day.